what if we pull this up and then out? Yeah, so it's nice and balanced. I'm going to Adrian Monk a fish now. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, and today we are taking a look at Ecosystem. I suppose you'd file this under God Game. We're going to build a seascape under the ocean. We're going to put some rocks and sand all over it. We're going to stock it with plants, and then we're going to drop some fish in there and see how they evolve and see what they become. I got a key from this from the developer, so thank you very much to those folks for that. I've actually been wanting to take a peek at this. I kind of muscled my way a little bit through the demo when that was out ages ago, but it's nice to see the full version of this and see what Ecosystem is going to do. I've done a little bit of the tutorial. Shut up, I tried. I, I definitely tried to do the tutorial, and then I just sort of spun off in my own direction and started clicking things and seeing what happened. So so some of this I may understand, most of it I won't. I feel I need a degree in marine biology to understand any of it, but let's see what ecosystems got. So I very optimistically clicked skip tutorial, and we'll see what I managed to pull off here. So we're under the ocean, but we've got nothing. There's absolutely nothing here. We should probably start building some stuff. Terrain menu, show me what you got here. Rocks and pale reefs and dark sand and red reefs and sand and dark rocks and sand? No, yellow grass. Okay. And muddy sand. Okay. Thank God there's more sand in there. Whew, I was getting worried for a second. And as I remember from messing around with the tutorial, different plants need different rocks and sand and stuff to grow in. So let's just throw down. Let's start with something simple here. How about some rocks? You can kind of paint some rocks in here. Let's go all, let me zoom out a little bit here if we can. There we go. Let's paint a little, maybe I'll make a little sort of enclosure area for my eventual fish when I get them. We'll get all of this in here, all of that. Hey, do you want a game where you can decorate the entire ocean, Dave? Why, yes. Yes, I do. How about in the middle we threw in some muddy sand right in here? We'll see if we can get different plants. I want to diverse ecosystem as I can possibly get. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so some muddy sand in there. And how about uh, this red reef? That sounds fun. Let's get some of that cooking along in there. Oh yeah, that looks good. This is, this is good stuff here. Now I'll be the first to admit I may have gone a little hot and heavy with the red reef, but I just like the color of it. So how about we fleshed it out a little bit with some tall Oh, yeah, some tall grass in here. Oh, it'll grow right up on the rocks and the reef and stuff. Cool. Let's get some of that in there. Maybe a little bit of it lived over here. We're going to kind of Bob Ross this up a little bit and uh, have some happy accidents with the tall grass. Now, what are you? Tall, dark grass. All right, well, we'll get some of you in here, too. And some regular grass can live in here. Oh, you're more of the hilly type of thing. Okay. All right. I like what I'm doing here. I'd like to see a little more muddy sand, if we can get that in there. Everybody loves some muddy sand. Now, I think this, this place needs to make some kind of statement. How about we took... Show me the rock again. Is that regular rock? Yeah, I'm going to um, gonna make something imposing live in here. Well, it started out being sort of a Tower of Sauron kind of thing, and then I realized it looked like a rabbit. So I'm trying to make it look more like a rabbit, if I can. It's not... It's not a perfect rabbit. I'm going to be the very, very first to admit that. But it's not the world's worst rabbit. You could vaguely look at that and say, eh, it could be a rabbit, I guess. Uh, so let's put some grass on there and some grass on there and some grass on there. And let's make, oh, I've, I've ruined my rabbit. All right, well, it's still imposing. Okay, let's get some research going on here because we don't, I don't think we know many plants, do we? Uh, we can choose three right now. All right, so we can get three plants. These are food sources. We're going to need these because we're going to have fish. So the Java fern, for, existent, for example, rather. Native to Thailand. Okay. It likes rocks or wood. Okay, well, I've got a bunch of rocks. So yeah, let's, um, let's have that. And the Amazon sword plant. Thrive under many conditions. Dirty water is bad. Okay, and it can block light from smaller plants. It prefers. What do you got? Um, I have no idea because I don't have a pop-up, but many of those look like sand, so I think I'm in the right track here. And this one seems very good. The grass rack pondweed. 
It serves as a direct food source, but it also attracts something I can't pronounce and zooplankton that other creatures can graze on. We should have that. Okay, so I can just sort of pop these down now, and I've got these down here, right? There's my grass-racked pondweed. Well, I want to put a lot of that down if I can. And then it starts growing, which is very cool. Let's, uh, let's get a bunch of this down here. Ah, oh, except I can't. I'm out of life points. That's sort of our currency around here. Well, do I have enough to make a fish then? Because otherwise we've got what used to be a rabbit and a bunch of grass. No, I don't because I don't have enough viable ecosystem here for any fish to live. So I'm trying to flesh it out with as much grass as I can get a hold of and see if I can maybe get the viability up a little bit. Well, despite me clicking virtually everything, I couldn't figure out how to get more life points. I feel I bungled that first one right from the get-go. Nobody is surprised by that. So I started again, and I've started up the tutorial. I think this is best for everyone. And what I've done initially is write my name on the ocean floor in rock. I feel that's a positive, strong first move. Now the fish know who owns this patch of ocean around here. However, we will go to the ecosystem and actually try and get some plants in here. Let's go with seaweed. Seaweed seems very, very simple. And the Amazon sword plant, because that just sounds wicked aggro. Where's my seaweed gone? I want to put down a lot of seaweed. Now, this is going to cost me one life point. I have five. Last time I played the tutorial game, you were handing out life points like candy. Don't make me come over there. Uh, so can you live there? Uh, apparently you can. Okay, there's one life point gone. Ah, but my ecosystem is going up now. All right, so that's a health of five. Well, let's put another one down. Ah, and my life points are going up too as I get the ecosystem health up. This is more what I'm familiar with. Yeah, just keep those life points coming there, Sparky. How about we toss down a couple of these Java ferns too? What's that going to do for my ecosystem health? Oh, nice little plus six there. Yeah, there's those life points. Okay, let's throw a couple more of these down. The overall health in this sector seems to be about 16. I don't know if that's enough for a fish yet. I'm sure the tutorial will tell me. And they're continuing to sprout and grow. This is the cool bit. They keep, you know, sort of doing what plants do, which is spreading out. So I don't really have to do a heck of a lot at this point. I could conserve some of those life points, but let's make sure I put down my Amazon sword plants because everybody likes those. Oh yeah, these things are just spreading like wildfire. Wow, they are going everywhere. I turned that grid off. I didn't really feel the need to do that or have that up. Well, that's the D covered, and I've got plenty of life points left, he says optimistically. Let's go ahead and get some more done. Let's see if we can get the A working over here. So some sword plants there, and some seaweed here, here, and here. And it's all going to keep spreading out well, like this. All right. And then how about we moved over to the V, and the V was nothing but Java fern. Just lousy with Java fern. Oh, no, some of the other things have already made it over here. Oh, okay. Well, I might not have to do anything at all to the E then. I'm going to pretty up the outside of my name here with just some regular grass kind of outline all of the letters like this. Oh, that one, that one went a little, a little wrong, a little wrong. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not going to try and make a rabbit again, I swear. Um, although this is coming out like somebody's hand. I don't hate that. And then uh, where, where would you put a thumb? Sort of over there, right? Oh yeah, it looks like a huge grasping hand. It looks like we buried a giant under the ocean. Okay, you can stay. So as we increase the health of the ecosystem, we gain those life points. I guess I didn't increase my first rabbity area enough. Okay, fair enough game. Are we getting to the part where we do the fish? Because that would be good. These things are just spreading like wildfires, like a plague of those. Let's evolve some animal life. Okay, somewhere between 15 on the ecosystem health. Well, I think we conquered that a long time ago. Let's open up our creature menu here. All right, so we're going to put down a forager. Yeah, we've got a health of 28. This guy's going to be fine. All right, foraging requires learning the locations of food and predators. You don't worry about that. I'll get some predators in here soon enough. So I guess we just kind of um, pop this guy down. He's going to cost me 10 life points. Off you go. Off you go. What are you? Let me see if I can zoom in on you. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, and the health just blossomed there. Okay, can we see any of them yet? Or are they still sort of 
coming into existence. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Okay, uh, get get out of this. I wanna I wanna look at the fish. Uh, so click on you. All right, Kent. Welcome, Kent. Welcome. You are a pikehead, and um, you are you are literally the first fish. You are the progenitor of all of this, and you have very little chance of survival. But you've had two kids. Oh, you're dead. I'm sorry, Kent. So one of the things of ecosystem that I was reading about is these are like real physics based fish. They will swim like a real fish would with whatever appendages they get. I, I don't know if you get appendages in fish. This guy's just kind of floating. You've got sort of three wacky fins and a very, very tiny head. Who are you? Oh, you're sorry, you're already dead. So the creatures who move a little get to have more children, and they'll just be favored by evolution because they can move around a little. Well, I don't have my hopes up here for, um, oh, sorry, you're already dead. I didn't have my hopes up for you because uh, you're not moving very much. Now you've got a bit of a you got a bit of a swim going on over here. Come here. Who are you? Are you different? What are you? Did you evo Oh, sorry, you're dead. Yeah, it looks like even though I put down a specific forager, they've already started evolving. We've got three different things going on. So these Scott wh where are you? Oh, you're up there. Oh, you're at, you're at the surface. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of you guys. You guys seem to be doing well, because you can kind of swim a little bit. Oh, sorry, you're dead. Well, let's put down another one then. That seemed to go very, very well. I'm going to put down another forager. We've got good health over here. I've got the life points to do it. Let's pop down another one of those guys. So I guess that spawns 30 creatures. 30 creatures. And then, as we've seen, it looks like they're doing just fine by themselves. You can cull a creature you don't like by pressing the cull button. Oh, I don't want to do that. Or boosting them. Oh, no, I'll do that. Now, before you die, I'm going to try and boost you if I can. There, there you go. I boosted you. I have no idea what that means. But I... Oh, yeah, they're all swimming and stuff now. They're evolving. Oh, very, very neat. Uh, come here. Yeah, oh, sorry. I didn't actually mean to boost you, but it's probably a good thing. Now, here's the bit where Dave's going to start to tap out a little. I can see uh, Bernardus here, neural network. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. There's, it, it just turned into the Matrix all of a sudden. I'm sure that's very, very important to Bernarda as, as long as he or she may live. Um, but I have no idea what that means. But I boosted you. So hopefully that's... Oh, wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, who are you? You're even more interesting. Hang on. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know, Chief. I don't know if those weird thin things are working out for you. You seem to be... Oh, sorry. You're dead. Um, how about you? Yeah, you probably work out a little better. You look like a more traditional fish, if a tad flat. Oh, you're doing very well. Yeah, this guy's got it going on. This guy knows what's up. This guy's evolving all over the map. And I see there's a few more of you. Oh, sorry, two of you just died. There's a few more of you around there right now. Oh, you died. Sorry. Um, I'd like to click on one of you. What are you exactly? What? Which one of these are you? You're the Gobiamore. And apart from the fact that a few of you just died, you're doing okay. These Scollies, though. These are just, these are taken over. Well, you know what the solution to that is. Good old-fashioned predator. But before I blow all the life points on that, let's try and actually be vaguely sensible about this and put down some more plants. I think that's valuable. Oh, and I do actually, I have research. Um, should I be researching things? Yeah, I get three new food sources now. Okay, cool. Um, well, there's that pond weed that I liked before in the Congo firm. Firm, fern, and this hydrilla. Hydrilla? Hydria? Hydrilla. It's probably hydrilla. All right, well, let's put some of those guys down. I'll click on your thing in a second. I know I can mold the landscape. I, I was doing that earlier. I tried to make a rabbit. So Congo fern, Congo fern. These Congo ferns spread like like the plague. They're just awesome. And then where? what else did I get? Oh, yeah, the pondweed. I wanted that. Okay, where are we? I'm spreading out a fair bit. Where did I... I put my name down so I'd know where I lived, but... I've completely gotten away from that. Is that the V? I, I might be... Yeah, there's the... V. No, I don't know where I live anymore. It's gotten all overgrown around here. Well, I'll just put a plant down and hope for the best. Let's mess with the terrain a little bit more by digging out. I think I dig out like a cave or something. Hang on. Zoom me in here. Zoom me in. I'm going to dig out a really cool cave. Maybe I can make the predators live in it. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is somewhere where you would not want to be if you were prey. 
this is definitely where the predators are coming out of. Well, let's make sure that the prey might want to go in there by putting in some plants and stuff and maybe some regular grass. Can I get all the way in there, please? Um, sort of vaguely, not really. How about we went all... Uh, yeah, but it's also coming out on top there, too. That's fine. That's fine. It's all going to be fine. I'm going to put some of my new plants in there. What did I? What else did I get around here? Uh, seaweed. Well, yeah, I will get the seaweed in there. I mean, everybody loves seaweed, right? And then let's put... Yeah, those sword plants. I like them. Can't really get it in the cave. I'll just have to try and hope it spreads down there. What's that, you say? I can design my own creature? Oh yes, please, ecosystem. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, apparently the default is some sort of eggplant, which was not a fish as far as I'm aware. How about I was a predator? Not an apex predator, just a predator. Wait, can I choose how many heads? Oh, it's a type of head. Okay. I was going to say, if I can have a fish that has many heads, that would be fantastic. Oh, definitely that head. Yeah, I, I think that is definitely my head right there. Can I zoom this out a little bit, please? Yes, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's definitely my head. All right. Um, So this part's selected right now. Can I select a different part? Because if I start messing with the size... Okay, that's different. Um, I could... Ooh, oh, all right. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Happy accidents. Happy accidents. Oh, yeah. Let's make you, like, really, really long. You mean like an eel. So I can mess with stuff just by pulling the axes around. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I like what I'm doing here. This is nice. Okay, what's next? Where do I where do I get the part where I get some sort of heavy weaponry? Oh, it's right here. Add a new limb. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, I would like to... Let me see here. Add a limb. And did I just... um. Does it just go where I want it to go, or can I make it go somewhere different? Ah, uh, what happens if I take that part in move mode? Can I move it, say, down here? No, I want to move this. Here? Drag it? No, I feel I can do this, I just don't know how to do it. Nobody is particularly surprised by that. Well, then get me to the bit where I'm reshaping it. What if we pull this up, and then out? Yes, yeah, so it's nice and balanced. I'm going to Adrian Monk a fish now. I look like a high-speed rail train now, but I'm going to add another thing. Um, where, where, do, where do these keep going? Can I add that to, say, here? What happens if I add something to there and then do it again? What if I do it here? Does that do anything? No, it just keeps moving this bit around. All right, well, what if we do that? Nothing much. Okay. Obviously, I'd need to sit here and click on this for several hours before I entirely got this right. Um, what does repetition do? Can I have like five of these? Oh, I want five of those. What happens if I mirror it? Can I take this part and mirror it? Yes, okay. So I can get a duplicate thing under here. All right, I'm looking less like a high-speed rail train now. I'm not quite sure what I did here, but I've added a little bit here and I'm trying to see if I can make it bigger. I'm trying to effectively give myself an antenna. I feel that would be valuable down in the bottom of the ocean. So can we get that to go, like, way, way up here? Yeah, way up there. Keep it keep it coming, bartender. Yeah, keep it coming. We're getting an antenna if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, I think I'm broadly happy with my first fish. Okay, now what do I do with it? I've done your thing. Where do I get to the part where I name this? There we go. I found it. The Dave fish is ready. Oh, we, we haven't we haven't photographed it well. Okay, it, it's a very long fish, if we're honest about things. Click anywhere to spawn the Dave fish. Will do. Um, I'd like it to go and live in the terrifying cave if I could. It's just that I don't know where the terrifying cave is anymore. So I'm just going to go have it live right here. And we're just going to see what happens. Well, despite my best efforts, I don't seem to be able to get the Dave fish to stick. I keep selecting it. And then I put it down, and then it just sort of doesn't happen. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical reason for this, and the logical reason is that I don't understand what I'm doing. So to make up for that, I'm going to put down a bunch of regular predators, because that's always good. And then how about 
a super predator, an apex predator, can live over here to eat the other predators. Everything thing seems to be very healthy. The plants are spreading out like just wildfire. It's great. Let me pan out here. How? Oop, that's panning in, Dave. How big is this getting? Ooh, we created quite the little ecosystem down here. Ooh, who's that? Who's that? You're you're interesting. Let me get over there before you die. What are you? Oh, you're one of them scollies again. Yeah, you guys are kind of running away with the show, aren't you? Maybe the Dave fish is somewhere up in Misk. But it doesn't seem like it. I'm not sure why I can't get the Dave fish to do what I want it to do. And what are, what's your problem before you die? You're a Limcata. Oh, you guys are doing very well, too. Okay, good. And you're just sort of doing your thing. You're eating plants. Things are eating you. Other things are eating the things that are eating you. It's all going just swimmingly. See what I did there? And that, guys, is just a quick look at ecosystem. Grab yourself a wetsuit and a degree in marine biology and swing on over to some ecosystem. Do please let me know in the comments what you thought of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. This isn't personal, actually. I, I don't know any of you. Um, I'm Space Commander Awesome, and uh, I'm having a weird kind of day here. Were you playing with a dead guy's zither? That, that sounded so much better in my head than when it came out of my mouth.